Senator. Senator Ayotte. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to uh, follow up, uh, Admiral McCoy, just on what you were just talking about with regard to the shipyards. I, I certainly share uh, the concerns that my colleague from New Hampshire does, um, in particular for the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. But if uh, you said they're fully loaded in terms of maintenance and what's happening, <clears throat> What happens if we implement the furloughs in terms of the maintenance schedule? And can you help me understand, you know, as I understand it, um, the Navy has submitted a plan to Secretary Hagel that would allow us to avoid the furloughs. And can you help me explain, uh, understand, if we do implement the furloughs and, and uh, the Secretary decides not to implement the plan that the Navy has imposed, what are the additional costs that we incur because we have to delay all the maintenance schedules? Um, I'll, I'll start and then uh, allow Admiral McCoy to join. Um, first, the, uh, 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 the evaluation of furloughing that's being done at the uh, Secretary of in the Department of Defense applying to all the services, uh, where everyone is looking at how to mitigate the degree to which we would have to furlough. And within that larger uh, discussion, we are continuing to look at, uh, uh, if we do furlough, are there exceptions that we need to uh, apply because they are directly impacting readiness or uh, the, the remedy is creating more problems than it's solving. Right, right. Um, and shipyards are in that mix. Uh, the potential to furlough uh, public shipyard workers is in that mix. And, I, and that's all I can offer you right now because it's, uh, we are looking at this real hard, real time. Um, and they're in that mix because of the impact, direct impact on readiness that would be caused by a furlough at our shipyards. It would be more than a one-for-one -one impact when you uh, impose the degree of disruption uh, that occurs to a ship's maintenance or modernization schedule um, at the shipyard. If people have to put down their tools and then uh, return after a gap to pick them back up. So uh, I think everyone understands uh, that uh, uh, shipyards are a special case in terms of direct impact on readiness. The math uh, states that uh, there is going to be a more than one-for-one -one impact uh, if you furlough. And uh, uh, overall, the Department of Defense is trying to um, uh, mitigate any furlough actions uh, because we recognize the impact on not just productivity, not just the impact on readiness, but also uh, uh, the impact on uh, of the workforce that's trying to execute within the sequestration environment. And Senator, just to add, before um, Admiral McCoy takes the mic, I think the Navy's been very consistent in articulating the readiness impacts of furloughing at our depots, both on the shipyards and aviation. The impacts to our carriers, the impacts to our submarines, and the impacts to our um, aircraft and engines and engine modules. Thank you all.